So now we will clone this repository and open it in VS Code and do some Git changes in this repository. And we will see how we can use Git in Visual Studio Code. So this tutorial assumes that you already have Git installed in your Windows, Mac or Linux system. So if you don't have Git installed, check the first link in the description. It will show you how to install Git and how to enable Git in Visual Studio Code. This video will just focus on enabling Git in VS Code and using Git in VS Code. So first hold shift and right click and you will see this option Git open git bash here now to clone that repository you just need to type git clone and go back to this repository click on code and copy this url okay and paste it here and hit enter and as you can see it is showing this cloning into deep speech that will be completed in just a minute as you can see it is cloned successfully if you go back to our folder here you will see deep speech is already here now what you can do is you need to open this folder in visual studio code to do that double click on this and from this terminal you can just go to deep speech by doing something like this or you can open terminal directly inside this deep speech by doing right shift right click and open with visual studio or open partial window here and from your terminal type code and dot and this will open this folder in visual studio code as you can see the folder deep speech is opened here and we have all the files of deep speech here now if you click on this source control you will see that it shows if you would like to use git features please enable git in your settings and if you don't have this just go to files and preferences and settings and now you can type git enabled and here as you can see you scroll down this is currently unchecked you check this and now as you can see it just changed and now you can see your comments and all that stuff and if this was not available this will be available for you so we have enabled git in vs code now just close this and go here and let's change some files let's choose this deepspeech.py and let's write a comment here this is a test comment all right and let's save this and now if I go to this and you will see deepspeech.py is changed and if I click on this you will see this empty line was removed and this was added so similarly if I change some other files let's say I go to dockerfile.train.tmpl and here let's add another comment let's save this if I go back to this you will see two of the files are changed deepspeech.py and docker file is changed so if I click on click on deep speech, you will see what was changed. This is the old one. This is the new one. If I click on Docker file, this is the old one and this is the new one. So all these you can see here. And now you can commit this using a message. Let's say test commit. And if I click this, you will see this option. There are no just no stage changes. So first you have to stage your changes before we are committing them. So you can just click yes and these files will be automatically staged and committed now if you see this error what you need to do is you need to set user.name and user.email in git so let me show you how you can add that so right now what i'll do is i'll just copy this and click on this terminal and paste this and right now it is just using this email as your user uh, email and this username so when you do this you will need to write your actual email and actual username because that is what will be shown in your comments so now since i've added user and user email and username click on commit again and now as you can see the commit is complete so I can close this now and now it is showing option to sync changes sync changes means it it is showing options to push commit to your master now you can click this and it will try to push but since i don't have permissions to this repository to push in master I will face an error so if i do this i will not be able to push as you can see it is showing you don't have permissions to this all right so i don't have permissions to this branch so what i can do is i can create another branch and push to that branch so if it is your own project you can definitely push to master and that's how you can use git in visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below